What's up guys? Today we are not in the juice shop. We are here at home filming a slow masticating juice off. These are the two new juicing models that Kaynell is offering. This first gen here is the same. It just has an easy clean strainer in it. And this white one, which I'm really loving, if I had to pick right now and just if you wanted the summary of this video, uh, the white one is the one to go with. It's a little weird filming here at home. We've been at the shop a lot lately. We've launched four new products. Uh, we've been using Judy a lot. There's been a lot going on there. So I'm happy to be here showing this to you guys. Um, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. We do a lot of juicing here. We share the behind the scenes of our juicery. Um, and through that, we've got a lot of just juicers here in this community that follow the channel. Um, so we, I love creating content for the at-home juicers as well. This video is a part of a, a juicing 101 playlist. Um, a year ago, this company, Knell, sent me a masticating juicer. Um, and I, that was the first slow masticating juicer that I'd used. And I really fell in love with the quality of juice that they make. As far as like favorite uh, at-home juicers, a vertical slow masticating juicer is my favorite at-home juicer. You can make almond milks with it. You can do any type of hard vegetable, leafy green. Um, you can do just about anything with this uh, vertical slow masticating juicer. You can make ice creams. You can do all kinds of, it's just the possibilities are endless. So today we're gonna to be reviewing um, these two models of the K now. So this one here is, um, and they're both at the same $100 price point, which is what I love about these juicers. They're so accessible. Making healthy decisions can be hard. It can be really hard to change your lifestyle. So when we don't have to spend an arm and a leg to do it, I love that. So both of these are right at the $100 price point. I think this one's 106 and this one is 104. I had to guess. Um, K now did offer us a coupon code here for you guys. Um, it is Lauren 101. You'll get $10 off on their website. I will link both of these down below. The only reason I would reach for this juicer, this model. is if I was making celery juice every day. This juicer has a stronger motor, stronger plastic. Um, when you're juicing, things can get like contorted and whatnot, and you wanna have a good, strong uh, plastic. Both of them have 10-year warranties. The runtime is roughly the same, 10 to, not 10, 20 to 30 minutes. I think this one's 20, 20 to, they say don't basically don't go over 30 minutes. I don't mind cleaning a strainer. And another reason I love masticating juicers is you can meal prep. So masticating juicers are extremely gentle on produce. They just crush up the fruits and veggies and run run them through the grinders that I just showed you there. All right, should we get to juicing? Obviously I'm gonna go with celery because I feel like it's just, it feels right. When I first used this one, I was impressed with how quiet it was. It was just, it was crazy. Let's just start juicing and see what happens. If you were really patient and good at juicing, you would just put one sock of celery in and let it do its thing. But I rarely do that. I often sh just shove a bunch in there. But I love masticating juicers because they are so gentle. Um, you can keep juice made on a masticating juicer for three to five days. Not as good as a cold press machine, um, because we're crushing the produce instead of cutting it up. It's a little more rough, but you'll still get a few days out of your juice. So I like to make big jugs like this and I'll keep it in the fridge. I'm gonna flip the microphone around and I'll show you guys kind of what it sounds like. This feels so familiar when you've done this for 30 days at a time. Celery is the hardest thing I've ever had to juice. At the juice shop, in a 
the masticating juicer. It's like trying to juice a piece of string. So you can hear how loud that one, I, I feel like I'm yelling into the microphone, but you can hear how this one is just kind of struggling. I think that's the best way to describe it. I'm gonna flip the microphone around so you can hear. So compare that to this. All in all, they're both going to get the job done. I mean, I use this juicer for 30 days straight, juicing celery. Um, I abused the crap out of it. I made almond milks on it. I made ice cream on it. Um, it'll get the job done easily. I feel like this one will just be a better long-term investment. Um, if you really want the easy clean, if you're juicing celery every day, I would go for the easy clean strainer. But as far as everything else, I feel like this is going to be my go-to. Here's the strainer. I always strain my juice. I don't know if it's because I do it at the shop or I just don't like floaties. I don't know. But I hope this video is helpful to you guys if you're picking out a juicer. A lot of the competition in this range of juicers is four to five hundred dollars. Uh, the Hurum Easy Clean Juicer is a five hundred dollar juicer. That wraps it up for this video. If you guys have more questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. I can help you out. I'm about to film a how to make a basic apple cider recipe. If you guys want to check that out. If slow masticating juicers aren't your jam, if you're making a lot of juice and want to drink it right away, I do have a comparison video between a slow masticating juicer and a centrifugal juicer. You can find that. If you're curious about slow masticating versus cold press, I do have a video on that as well. Definitely check out the channel. If you're into juicing, there's a lot of good information there. Hope this helps you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I feel like I need to swing the camera around when I did that, but I don't really want to. Bye. I do get questions on this, so just leave this around. That is a little warm in there. Just means that the motor was working hard. Brush comes with a little end thing there. So it's bringing back so many memories from my celery juice days. Maybe I should get back on the celery bandwagon. You do something for so long and you just get tired of it. It's just like, well. Little bit of drippage there. This is what the strainer looks like pulled apart. It's very easy to clean if you were wondering. <laughs> Takes seconds just to rinse it off. This is totally normal for your celery to do this. It's just, it is what it is. Take your end of your brush there and you stick it in there. 
can normally get it out pretty easy. 10 out of 10, easy to clean. This strainer still is relatively clean. You could get a lot more juicing out of that before you had to clean it.